Bitcoin.net. Today is uh, September 1st. So as you know, I've been um, putting out some videos on OpenBB Terminal. You can find them under my playlist here at quantlabs.net. Uh, Quantlabs channel on YouTube. Chris Renner here, we've done a video install, um, just a general overview. This video, I'm gonna talk about an actual set of reviews um, and some tips. I'm not gonna go into full depth here. It, this is more at a high level, but I have to say this is an absolutely amazing uh, platform. Uh, if you wanna have something similar to the Bloomberg terminal, this thing's being built out radically in a very quick way. Uh, a lot of information in here. I've gone through majority of what's available in it and it's unreal. It's just, it has so much depth to it um, under all of these different asset class, ETF, funds, portfolio, Forex, um, kind of metrics. There's crypto in there, um, futures, I think options. And pretty well everything you can think of has a Jupyter integration. I'm still trying to get that to work. There's a couple of bugs in here that are a little, you know, my really minor, but it's a cleaned up product. The um, documentation is quite good, as you can see here. Uh, so let's say, why don't I show you uh, some tips now um, on how to get through this. So if you want to know how and why what's available in the uh, OpenBB, what I would strongly recommend is to run the different scripts that it comes with. So if you're following what I'm doing, uh, and this is probably the better way to do it if you're on Windows, is get it installed on uh, an Ubuntu uh, subsystem, a WSIL, I think. And uh, what you want to do is, if you remember my uh, remember my installation, to activate it with Conda. And then you, what you can do is you can um, run it. And uh, you have the ability to run it right on the command, and the command in the terminal itself. So here we have the um, terminal right here, uh, that script, so you just run that. You can run it any which way you want, but here are uh, there's some advantages. So a um, couple of ways to run this is uh, if you come under uh, GitHub and under the main project for uh, OpenBB terminal, look for uh, a scripts subfolder. In here in the repository, you'll have quite a lot of example files to look at. So I'm just gonna choose one randomly, let's say test OpenBB. You can run all of these commands. Some of them may or may not run. Um, you do have to install uh, your data source uh, key. And uh, how that works is you would have a key for Coinbase, Twitter, Reddit, for whatever you're trying to do with that service. Uh, Zoanda for Forex. So um, let me see if I could find something like that. Uh, stocks, Forex. Yeah, there is an OANDA here, and it gives you all of these um, different uh, commands that you can use, but they're specifically for OANDA. So that's just one example of a data source you need to load in, have an API key for it, uh, which I believe is free. Some of these may eventually go paid, I don't know, like MarketWatch or uh, something else. Um, but for now, as far as I know, it's all free. So that is an awesome, awesome feature. So as I said, you can load in and run any of these singular commands. So sometimes you could do things like, uh, so we're gonna, this is an ETF. So in here, just go into the ETF section and in here uh, you load your ETF. So we do spy. Um, so there's the top companies there, Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, so on. You can get uh, overview. So some of these out of the box, may or may not work. Let me see if I can load in GLD. Uh, top, no, there's no company, companies for uh, GO. Yeah, so um, 
yeah, I'm not sure here. Uh, let me just see here. Uh, I'll go back and load in um, Spy. So in here I can run Overview. That may or may not work. Like I said, depends if there's a API key available for it. Um, sometimes it may not run. Um, so it's a fairly new platform and uh, it's open source, so you can't expect perfection. But what I've run, it a good chunk of it runs no problem. So you can get the holdings and the percentage, number of shares that they hold uh, to see which ones uh, work. Uh, you can go under weightings as well. Uh, so it's going to download the data. So you can see here 25% technology, 12% other, so on. <clears throat> so this is what I love about it and just the convenience of it instead of having to go out and download through Yahoo, like Yahoo Finance is one of the data sources. Um, so here's a summary on what this is about. Uh, we can get a candle chart of how it's working out right there. Um, and I just, as a tip here, uh, one other thing you can do is you can do candle and each command has its own set up parameters for help. So in my case, what I like about this for uh, the charting, um, so you could just go export to 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 export that to export that uh, chart. So if you want to export the PNG for that, uh, just close that out. Oh, we need two hyphens there. Uh, let's see if it. Let's see. Okay, so I can only. Uh, do data for this one. Sometimes you can chart, uh, export charts. So I don't know. Let's say if it can do a CSV. Uh, cannot save file, non-existent. So if I was to create this folder here, so as an example, um, right here on Windows, you'll have here a Linux. That's your subsystem. So you should be able to go into um, your open, uh, let me just see here. So here's your top level Ubuntu. So if you navigate your way into that folder here, uh, home, and then caustic, and then you have that Python directory uh, right here, open T, uh, B, B terminal and then we have an exports folder and in here you can see we have an ETF folder ETF so in here it's complaining that there's no raw data folder so if I um, create a new folder here call it uh, raw data this is one example of, of some of the things that you can hopefully do. So now it's going to create that file and put it into that folder. Um, now this will be a, an Excel, but it's a CSV. So now you can download the data. And there it is. Boom. Pretty good. <laughs> it's really good. Um, and yeah, there's parameters for the data download and all that as well. Oops. And uh, I don't know, man. This this could just go on and on and on. And uh, okay, so we're doing candle. If you want to get news on the ETF, so remember, I'm running it from one of this uh, OpenBB script here. I think that's one of the very powerful things about this. So if you do, I don't know. Um, news that's where we are right now this is download the latest news i'm not sure where this data source comes from uh yeah so you need an api token for that right there i'm not sure what that um data source is but just one example this is a very powerful command here pir so right here it will export an etf report for you 
Uh, this, is that, this is just one asset class, right? So if I go up to ETF, and uh, let's see, that is uh, 1110 in Enzins, it's this one. I mean, it's unreal. It gives you all the data, a little chart within Excel. And again, there's no cost to this. Just, just awesome. Uh, this is just one sample of what you can do with this uh, pro uh, with this platform. So I'm not sure how this will work. I had a problem with this L uh, LVV. Um, not in list. Anyways, uh, let's see if this is loaded up. I, I got to tell you, this is an unreal platform. <laughs> it's absolutely incredible. And uh, as I said, I'm just giving you a sampling of what it can do among all of the different um, asset classes, portfolio. Um, if I can get the Jupiter running, I'd be pretty happy. Also, there's a reports dashboards. The reports that are live, I can show you a sample of that. Let's see how our spreadsheet's working. Okay, there we go. So this is the ETF. So you can see here, sector holding, top companies. Uh, I'm not sure how this works. Oh, these are the stats for the risk. Uh, returns annually. Um, investment valuation and <laughs> it's unreal unreal uh, as I said some of the um, interesting things are the dashboards so uh, some I got running some I did not um, let's say uh, okay so I believe I have to go into dashboards there we go so I can run a crypto dashboard. I couldn't get this running for some reason. Yes, run the server. And it runs this thing called, I think it's called Viola. Yeah, Viola. And then it'll run and set up all the live pricing for all the crypto prices. And remember, this is open source, so you can customize the coding. Um, update rates. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the rates to update probably don't have a proper API key like for Coinbase or something as a data source. So there are some really good ones. So if I load in uh, stocks here, uh, let me see, I can't remember, but, oh, I'm sorry. Um, uh, I think it's a uh, V-Surf, this is volatile. Uh, I don't know what it's called volatility surfaces. So this is fairly advanced. I've seen things like this since um, yeah, V surf. So I haven't seen stuff like this in many years since uh, not since uh, MATLAB. So load up the server here just to give you an idea. So if you want some surface uh, volatility surfaces, you can see profit potential on the options. Uh, I do remember this distinctly, and I'm sure you pay um, well into the thousands for this. So, it takes a little while to load up. Um, okay, so we have Tesla here, and IV. I think it still takes, so there, there's our surface right here. And uh, let me see if I can, so basically what this means is there's a profit potential in the red part up here. Um, so days to expiry, implied volatility. This is a fairly uh, volatile stock back in, I can never read this properly. Days to expire, uh, zero out. Anyways, um, I'm no expert here. And uh, wow. Um, you could put in Apple if you want. Uh, it's 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 so good. These are un things I didn't know. Um, let's see uh, chains I couldn't get working. So if you're looking for short data, let's see here.
Again, you could run these in Jupyter as well once it's uh, set up. Uh, widget downloads the latest NMS short data from, from FINRA. I don't know if I need a by summing the entire time period. Okay, let me load up some data here. Data loading for 129. So it's loading in uh, GME. Okay, load data. Change number shown. So I'm not sure if I'm doing this right, but there's a lot of experimentation here. Uh, but if this thing doesn't stop, there's just so much in here. And again, you could you could run these as live um, dashboards on your system in real time. I, I just don't know what to tell you. Um, so we have here a guest reports. Let me try that one. And they're, they're constantly adding new things to it. And uh, let me see. Oh, yeah, I couldn't get this running. Let me just try one more time. We might get lucky here. Yeah. Uh, you know, so I'm not. I'm not going to worry about it. Let me. Let me just try report equity. Apple. I have no idea. Anyways. I'm not going to worry about it, but all I could tell you is this, this thing is, who took me about to go through all these scripts to learn what's out there. Uh, this did take me about just to run it and see what it does. Uh, it took me about three to four hours. That's how vast this thing is. Um, it's huge. I mean, they got $8 million of uh, investment into this, so they are very serious about it. Now, how long will this stay free and open source? I'm not sure if they'll do a, um, a, a subscription model or some kind of premium for something. Um, I mean, I realize they got to have a revenue of some kind. And, uh, you know, when you look at really good uh, projects that I've seen in the early days of like CCXT, the wrapper for crypto trading, uh, and it did support Python or backtrader.com. Um, they eventually all went premium. This is going to be the same thing. I don't think it'll be that much. It'll definitely not be the price of Bloomberg. I think it'll defeat the purpose of it. But um, unbelievable, unbelievable. If you want to see what I'm going to be doing with this, I am got my email here. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be really active on it publicly. But if you want to know if I ever do, just come under quantlabs.net slash books. Get some uh, my trade like a boss uh, book, and there's another one as well. Just fill in your info. Your info's not released to anyone. That's it. And uh, yeah, this is a really revolutionary product. Um, I'm sure Bloomberg probably knows about, it, but they're probably thinking, ah, this won't go anywhere. I I really challenge people on that because not a lot of people can afford Bloomberg. And as this is built out, I wouldn't be surprised that eventually. Um, Bloomberg users will use this, say, why am I paying 5K a month or whatever they're paying a month per seat on those exorbitant contracts? Uh, that's what made um, interactive brokers better was, was with Brown Robinhood, um, even though it wasn't the best. But uh, here, I think their approach is very honorable. But I do like this project a lot. And this will be the first project that I actually use for my own research, for my own uses real world so again if you want to know more just visit here quantlabs.net uh quantlabs.net slash books and jump on this man this thing is is really revolutionary and, and uh, i think the guy who started it's fairly young he's, he's gonna be well well um well uh taken care of in his later years building this thing out no doubt and we, the world needs this sort of thing anyway. So, wow, that's all I can tell you. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.